All right, so you've done your very first transcription on Captionator, but you want to do more. You want to tweak the style and make it your own. So the way we do that is we open up Captionator again here. And now because I've just recently transcribed it, when I click Captionator, it should pop up with the existing window with the existing transcriptions. So this allows you to make all these tweaks without having to retranscribe the entire thing or change a bunch of settings or, or whatnot. Now you can just pick a different style. So say we want to pick something like The Beast, which uses Mr. Beast's font. We'll, we can click the Generate button and a second later it pops up Oshkosh 2023. Uh, keep both and I'm going to scroll down here and we see these are using the Mr. Beast style fonts. But because it's a fairly sizable one, we can see words here like unfortunately get just a little bit too big. And there's a couple ways we can deal with this. Uh, the first way, and generally the way I would recommend for most, most cases, is just click on that one particular one that's offending, go into your title size, and then just shrink that one particular word. Now this is kind of the easy way to do this, but if we wanna change it on all of them, that would be a huge, tedious, and annoying process but Captionator does fully support this. So let's go back into Captionator and click on the Advanced tab. That's gonna drop down and give us all kinds of styling information that we're looking for. And in this case, we, we know that we want about 126 font here. So we click over here on the font and it's currently 193. So we're gonna go 126 and we can close out of that. And then we can click Generate here again Select my project, keep both, and there we go. You can see that they're all a much smaller font size now that's gonna fit whatever frame you're looking for. So say you've made all these tweaks and settings and you wanna keep this as your kind of permanent, this is my daily driver uh, style. Maybe it's for a client of yours or maybe it's for your own videos. And Captionator does let you save these particular styling information. So the way you do that is you click the little plus icon right next to the style up here. It's gonna ask you for a name and we're gonna call this one my awesome small uh, style. We're gonna click save and you notice that my awesome small style is right up there. And you can always go back to whatever other one you want. So if you wanna go back to the original one, you'll notice that's back to 193. But then when you switch back down here to my awesome small style, and click that font size, you'll notice it's back to 126. So any of the settings here that you set will be saved into that style. So you can come up with as many of these as you want. Now, maybe you wanna just change a setting within an existing style you've saved. Say we wanna change this color, we don't like the blue, maybe we want it more of a, maybe we want it more of a green, a bright green color. So the way we overwrite this is we click, instead of clicking the new button, which we could do, we instead click the little edit button, the little A edit button here. And we can set the name. So we, you can actually change the name here if you want as well. Then just click save. And like magic, whatever you change it to and then change it back to, you'll notice that green style moved with you as well. So every time it opens up, it should pick the same style you had last and it will It'll actually remember all those settings for you. So uh, you can create as many of these as you want. There's no practical limit. Um, the only limit is how big you want this drop down window to be. Now say you have a bunch of styles in there that you don't want anymore. So I was doing some test stuff here with this one called test style and it does a bunch of extra stuff. I don't really want this here anymore. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click the little trash icon, boom, and now it's gone. Poof. So that's how you manage your custom styles in Captionator. Now this gives you a lot of ease of use. Uh, so every time you work on a project, you can just select it out of the list, click export, and you're good to go within seconds. Now later in this tutorial series, I'm gonna show you how to create your own completely custom styles where you can do anything you want using motion templates. So be sure to watch the rest of the tutorial series to see that.